Vitex offers a comprehensive set of APIs covering the core commerce capabilities, as you can see here in our documentation page. But at some point, your technical team might like to extend these APIs, creating new services with custom logic. Vitex.io allows you to do it, and that's what we are going to show now. Why your team could, uh, would like to do that? At some times, you want to consume, for example, data from external source like a CRM, and you want to show some information on your storefront based in the data that you got from your CRM. So in this point, you can create a custom backend to be available, to be consumed by a front-end component, and this backend does all the integration with your third-party system. You can find the documentation on how to create a Vitex, a Vitex IO app uh, in our developer documentation. There's an entire section just for that. Now I'm going to move on to my code editor to show to you some uh, code and a little bit about an anatomy of a Vitex.io app. So moving on to the to my code editor, you can see here this file, the service.json. In this file, we are just declaring a new HTTP route. We are declaring a new API endpoint with the path my custom route. In this other file, we are declaring the handler. So this is the file that go with the logic to be executed every time this new API is called. Here is the place where you can create your custom logic and call any external system. You receive the context with all information about the request and even about Vitex, the current account, the current workspace. If there's any authentication uh, token available, you can receive the authentication token also. And you even receive some clients and helpers that help you to get any information from Vitex as necessary, like orders or products. In this case, we are just creating some dummy response with a simple JSON with a key and a value. Uh, now I'm going to show to you the next step. It's the Vitex CLI. The Vitex CLI is the main point of contact between the developer and the Vitex IO, our development platform. So you just install the CLI on your computer and you have a new command called Vitex. And if you just type down Vitex, you can see the list of the available commands uh, on Vitex. So you can, for example, uh, use Vitex Publish to publish a new version of your app, Vitex Deprecate to deprecate a version that you do not want anymore, or Vitex Install to install a version in a specific account. After you have published and installed your app into your account, you start to have your API available alongside the ones that came out of the box from Vitex. That's what I'm going to show to you now. So I'm going to switch to the Postman app. It's a standard HTTP uh, request app. And I will do two requests to show to you. Into Postman, you can see this first request is for our out-of-the-box intelligent search API. It's available in the domain myvtex.com. I can hit send and I can see the results came in from the search API. The next request that I'm going to do is for a custom route, the one that we just declared in our custom application. You can see that this request is available in the very same domain that the ones from uh, Vtex out of the box. And I can hit send and I can see the data that I just declared on my app. So this is my custom logic being available in the same environment and in the same URL that Vtex standard APIs. So you create your custom code, but the code is executed and scaled into Vtex environment and infrastructure. So with that capability, you can extend the way Vitex exposes its data and also create custom backend to be consumed both for storefront or admin back-office components.